Hi, I'm Evan, and welcome to the RV Cooking Show, a place where we can share our passion for RVing and our love for recreating regional food specialties from all across the country right here in my RV kitchen. Today, we are going to explore the beautiful Hudson Valley, and I'm going to show you how to make a delicious Monte Cristo sandwich. When you're in New York's Hudson Valley, there's all sorts of history and beauty to take in, and I'd recommend you start at the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Home and Presidential Library. While you're there, you can also visit FDR's Top Cottage, where he used to get away from it all, as well as Eleanor Roosevelt's cottage, Valkill, along with her pretty garden. Just next door to that is the Vanderbilt Mansion, where the locals will tell you it's been voted again and again as one of the best places to go picnicking. So pack a picnic. When you get there, you can tour the mansion or just walk around the grounds, but make your way down to the bank of the Hudson River and have your picnic. On your way back up, make sure you stop at the newly refurbished formal gardens. They're really pretty. Not too far from the Vanderbilt Mansion, you will find the world-famous Culinary Institute of America. Schedule a tour there and they'll take you behind the scenes where you can see students learning in action with teachers. It's really interesting. And then you can dine at one of their sensational, sensational restaurants. Or you can just pop into their cafe where everything is made by and the cafe is run by students that are getting ready to graduate. In Poughkeepsie, you can enjoy New York's newest state park, the Walkway Over the Hudson. It's a refurbished old railroad bridge. It's about a mile each way. There's interpretive plaques and beautiful views from the bridge, the Walkway Over the Hudson. It's kind of a neat thing to do. Now, if you happen to find yourself in Saugerties at the end of September, I highly recommend the Saugerties Garlic Festival. If you're a garlic lover like me, you will love this festival. They've got over 100 vendors. They say over 75 varieties of garlic, music, food, seminars. It is a great way to spend a day with your family exploring garlic. Anywhere you go in New York's Hudson Valley, you're bound to see a diner. They are plentiful. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my special version of a diner specialty, a Monte Cristo sandwich, which is kind of a mix between French toast and a grilled ham and cheese sandwich. This is what I use for my Monte Cristos. I use a French baguette, and I cut the baguette into slices about a half an inch thick. I'm going to use two pieces of baguette, two pieces of bread, for my Monte Cristo sandwich. Now, you can make them sweet or you can make them savory. I prefer them savory, so what I've got here is a mix of mustard and mayonnaise, a little Dijon and a little mayo. It's my mustard nays. But if you want to have a sweet Monte Cristo sandwich, just leave the mustard out. I've got some ham, and I've also got some provolone cheese. You can use any type of filling that you like. You want turkey, you want roast beef, you want provolone, you want Swiss, you want American, whatever works best for you. We're going to assemble our sandwiches, and then over here I've got two eggs and a little bit of milk, and I've got it whipped up. We're going to put it in this bowl, we're going to add just a little bit of nutmeg, and we're going to grill it up here over on our stove top. That'll be our delicious Monte Cristo sandwich. So let's get cooking. I've got my pan on my stove top, about medium, medium low. My butter's melting. And before we assemble our sandwiches, we want to get our egg mixture all put together and ready to be dipping. So what I've got are my two eggs and just a little bit of milk. And I've whipped them up in a nice bowl, but I'm going to transfer them over to a shallow bowl just to make it a little bit easier for me to dip my sandwich in as we get ready to put it on the griddle. And of course, just a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit nutty, a little bit sweet, really delicious on my standard cheese grater in the small holes. We'll just do a little bit like this. And that's ready for our sandwiches. So easy to assemble. Here's what we're gonna do. A little bit of mustard on it like that couple pieces of ham, perfect, a couple pieces of delicious cheese, like so. Take this other piece of bread, a little more mustard nays on it. Now we're going to take our sandwich and we're going to dip it in the egg on both sides. We're going to put it right on the griddle. 
easy as can be. This is the French toast part of it. Just like that. Let it drip off a little bit right on the griddle. I'm going to do that with every single one of these. These are going to cook for about three-ish minutes on each side until they're nice and golden brown. And the idea is for the cheese to get delicious and melted. I think these are just about ready. Let's see. Oh yeah, they look great. They look just like French toast. So let's gather a little bit of butter on our knife so when we turn them, we can have a little bit of butter to make them nice and brown. These look great. Okay, we just flipped these so it'll be a few more minutes and then they will be done and ready to eat. Now let me tell you, if you like to have them sweet, typically you'll find a Monte Cristo sandwich covered with a little bit of powdered sugar and served with some raspberry jam. If you want to try something different, why don't you try making a Monte Cristo sandwich just like this, but instead of meat and cheese, why don't you put in a little bit of peanut butter and jelly or a little bit of peanut butter and Nutella. That is a really nice, unexpected breakfast treat. Because ours are savory when these are done, we're going to serve them up with some chips and some sweet peppers and some nuts. They're going to be delicious and they're almost done. We thank you so much for coming to see us today, visiting us right here in our RV kitchen. You know we love to have you here. We'll do this again next time from someplace completely different, but just as delicious. Meantime, you can visit us on our website at www.rvcookingshow.com. We're also on Twitter and on Facebook. So come along and have a seat at our virtual campfire. And until then, we can't wait we're going to enjoy lunch, and we'll see you next time right here on the RV Cooking Show.